I asked Stephen Kanye from Coopers to visit and tell us how good nutrition can make cows more fertile. Mr. Brady, you had a very big challenge. My big problem is a fertility. Yes. My cows are not getting on either uh, on heat as required. Okay. So I don't know where that problem starts from. Oh, I have seen uh, yeah. that you have very good cows. Yes. And you also have the heifers here. Yes. You good. know the problem with the fertility starts from the heifers. Yes. But you are going to address it so yeah. that you yeah. can have very good, very good herd. What about increasing production? Yeah, even production, you are going to get it okay. because uh, when you come from the heifer, yes. we address the fertility issues, okay. then you are going to go to the adult. So from the heifers, mm. then we go to the adults. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Muraithi's cows take four months to come on heat. Some take as long as 11 months. This seems much too long to me. A good cow should uh, take 45 days to 90 days after calving for the cow to come on heat back. 45 to 90, 90 days. days. Yes. That's a big challenge for our farmer. Yes. How does he address it? Two things must match. One is good management, and the other one is breeding. And uh, today we are going to talk about, uh, mostly about good management practices. We have to talk about record keeping and also nutrition. That is uh, giving proper uh, diet to the cows. And uh, when you talk about uh, record keeping, you have to get good records for the cows. One, you have to know where the cow you got the cow from. The time that uh, the cow gave birth, you're going to get the record of the age of the cow. So you're going to get the deworming records. You're going to do the treatment records and also the insemination records. All the records must be there for us to get to know how the cow is progressing. So, record books are important as they help farmers track cow fertility and find problems when they occur. But what about nutrition? So a cow must get a ration that has five ingredients and which are very important when you are dealing with fertility issues. One, we have to provide carbohydrates and vitamins. The other one is minerals. The other one is water. And the fifth one, protein. Let's recap. For good fertility, a cow needs these five key ingredients in every meal. One, carbohydrates. So you cut the napier grass together with hay and you should provide to a cow three to four percent of the body weight per day. And two, vitamins from feeds. Three, water, fresh and clean. Four, minerals. So for the minerals, we are going to provide Mercury Plus. Uh, this one is uh, the mineral designed for the cows, for the fertility. Mm. And uh, this one is going to assist you in uh, bringing the cow to, uh, to fertility. They are going to come on heat. You provide Mercury Plus a free choice to the cows. In heifer that is from six months onwards, you provide 100 to 150 grams per day. Per day. But we usually recommend Ad Libitum. Ad Libitum is free choice. And five, protein. Fodder such as Napier and Caliandra have protein too. But the levels of protein are not enough to meet a cow's daily needs. So for the proteins, you are going to provide Cooper Kula, which has a very high protein content, that is 48%. And when you provide Cooper Kula, the cow is going to build up on its body and the, uh, the body is going to respond very fast. You mix uh, 5 kgs of Cooper Kula in 70 kgs of uh, dairy meal or pollard. If it is a heifer, you feed 0 0.5 kgs per day. And if it is uh, uh, the older cows, you just feed 200 grams. That is a minimum of 200 grams per day. So that is what you do with a protein supplement. When you combine the five components or the five ingredients, then you make a very good and balanced ration. So the issues to do with fertility, the issues to do with heat, also the issues to do with production, mm -hmm. they are going to be eliminated here from your farm. So Kanye, is there anything else that we should address? Yes, Tony, we are going to talk about steaming up. Catherine wants strong, healthy cows and calves. So I'm going to find out why good nutrition is important in the four to six weeks before a cow gives birth. It's a period known as steaming up. Now, what problems has Catherine been having with the cows? Mm, when the cow gives birth, you see sometimes it has fallen, 
Yeah. It falls down. It falls. Because it's weak or it you... It is weak. I, I understand it is calcium. Uh, lack of calcium. Catherine has talked about uh, a cow that has deficiencies. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to talk about how to take care of that pregnant cow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that you can get very good cows that are healthy, that are not having any incidences of uh, falling or having milk fever. Mm -hmm. And also cows that are going to give you maximum production, mm -hmm. high production. You have a cow here that is pregnant. Mm -hmm. We are going to address how to steam up. Steaming up is that extra care that you give to a cow four to six weeks before the cow uh, gives birth. First, we are going to start with objectives that you have a f as a farmer. Mm -hmm. Why do you need that extra care for that cow that is pregnant, that is almost giving birth? Mm -hmm. One is that you want to have this cow getting maximum production when the cow calves down. Mm -hmm. Number two, you want the cow to have a growth and repair of the other tissues. Mm -hmm. And number three, you want to minimize the incidences of the milk fever or the incidences of deficiency in calcium. Mm -hmm. So to get that, you have to get the basics right. One, you have to provide good fodder and that should be three to four percent of the body weight of a cow. Feed good quality fodder such as Bracaria and Caliandra. To find out how much to give, Find the cow's weight using a weigh band. Place it around the cow's middle just behind the front legs. The fodder should weigh 3% of the cow's weight. For a cow weighing 300 kilos, give 9 kilograms of quality grass per day. Then you are going to provide proteins. The Kupakura will provide enough protein. That is a 48% of protein that the cow requires so that it can avoid incidences of deficiency in calcium. And this cow requires the body building so that the tissue of the mother and the tissues of the baby can grow. Also, the protein will help in uh, growth and repair of the other tissues. Then we go to number three. We are going to provide mineral salts for the cows. You are going to provide maclic dry cow. Mm. And you are going to give there for the two months you always give 100 grams per day, which is about uh, four tablespoons per day. That is two in the morning and two in the evening. Mm -hmm. And because you are doing extra supplementation, mm -hmm. you provide the macric dry cow mm -hmm. together with a mineral brick. Mm -hmm. We hang this on the, the cow shed so that that animal that is pregnant the supplementation of minerals. If it is not getting enough of 100 grams of macric dry cow, then any time the cow leaks and we have to provide enough water. Fresh and clean. If you do all that, the animal is going to give you a good calf and you are not going to get incidences of milk fever. So having done that, I think Catherine will get very good cow that is going to give you very high production, very good calf, and in future, you are going to get very fertile cows and you are not going to have any problems of infertility. Aww.